G'day, g'day, my name's Jim, and today we're going to be doing a teardown and review of the Sieg Mini Mill. So the Sieg SX1L milling machine is the cheapest mill you can buy online. Retailing for 850 Australian dollars, give or take a little bit of postage. It will no doubt impress the hell out of you with a monumental amount of accessories, including such things as a drill chuck and an assorted array of crap spanners. Manufacturers claim she's got 145 by 330 millimetres of travel on the XY and 220 millimetres of travel on the headstock, which is really not that fantastic, so you're not going to be doing anything bigger than a shoebox. The mortise taper is an MT2 and the T-slots are 8mm. I'm happy with the MT2 because it matches the tail stock on my lathe so I can swap them backwards and forwards which is good. She's only got a 150 watt motor which is absolutely shit house. So the manufacturers or sellers of this product claim that it can be used as a drill press. Although with a 10mm chuck and a 150 watt motor, I don't know what the fuck you think you're going to be drilling. The story behind this Sieg is I've had it for a couple of years now and I think I've probably only put about 3 hours on it at the absolute most um, and I think the reason for that mainly is because it's a piece of shit oh fuck I just bought the review ah oh, bugger all right well thanks for watching and uh, we'll so some of the problems that have been plaguing me since the day I got this bloody thing is it's got exceptionally bad run out on the XY it chitters and chats and shits and shats and vibrates so fucking badly. I've got a giant bench downstairs and the bastard almost picked it up and ran it out the back door. To be perfectly honest, I don't think this thing would even be able to run an end mill through a stick of butter, let alone be able to make a keyway in like a stainless steel shaft or something. Alright, so would you like a demonstration? Better send the wife and kitties outside for this one, boys and girls, because this is a fucking horror show. So that then brings us to the present day, where we are looking at a broken cog. It's got a teeth ripped off it and a crack right down the centre of it. A mate of mine had a go at 3D printing some for me. Thanks Mitch, legend brother. Unfortunately they didn't want to work real well because the plastic is too soft. So after two weeks wait, I finally got some more shipped to me. So while I've got it apart, I'm going to see if there's any chance I can tighten up the tolerances on this thing. Because, um... It's shit. It's all about the rigidity and unfortunately this thing just doesn't have any. The fit and finish on this is something to behold and not in a good way. It is absolutely fucking horrendous is pretty much all I can say about it. So these three gears here are the speed. It's supposed to be high and low although it has never really wanted to work since I bought the machine. Though it certainly didn't take long to figure out why it didn't want to change gears. These cogs slide up and down this shaft on a keyway. And have a look how they've milled this thing. It's obviously been made out of shit material. And it's absolutely fucking horrendous. In fact, it looks like they've used another one of these machines to put the keyway in this shaft. <laughs> have a look at this thing. But the misery doesn't stop there. Once you pull this down a little bit further and you have a look in this yoke or whatever you'd like to call it the bracket that holds this shaft the bearings of brass sleeves um that's look at the shavings on the bottom of this thing it's just i'm speechless i swear I'm, I'm absolutely speechless i don't know what the fuck to say so this is the key that holds the spindle that allows you to take out your morse taper and it's made out of mild steel yeah uh i don't know if that shocks you but it, it shocks me <laughs> what why is a spindle on a mill made out of mild steel? That's absolutely friggin' terrible. And considering this has actually had only about four hours use, imagine if it had 400 hours use. 
That then brings us to the backlash, which is every bit as horrible as you could possibly imagine it would be. To remove any play in the table, you need to tighten up these grub screws. Unfortunately, to remove the play out of the table, you have to tighten up the grub screws so much that you can't even move the fucking table anymore. Everywhere that you need to control the rigidity on this is just grub screws. Okay, so let's give it a score, shall we? Uh, the score is bad. It's it's bad. It's 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 really bad. <laughs> I don't know what to, it's. I I am I, I as I've said through the whole thing, you might notice this is not like my typical video where uh, you know I'm very well opinionated. I'm opinionated, all right. I'm opinionated that it's fucked. It's a piece of shit. Um, don't buy it. Don't don't buy it. Don't don't buy it for your family. Don't buy it for friends. Don't buy it for yourself. Just don't buy it. Okay, well, if you've got an opinion on this, I'd like to hear it, so write your comments down below. In the meantime, be good, stay safe, and we'll see you around like a wristle, trendsetters. Play the music! Oh, Mickey, you're so fine, you're so fine, you blow my mind. Hey, Mickey. Techno, techno. Right, right.